quiet. The election is tomorrow. Um, will you help me? Really, during a week of prayer, you're going on about the election again? It's a major significance to our community. Wait, what's of major significance to our community? Just past that there grove of aspen trees and up yonder past... Oh, I can't make it one more step. Oh. What was that? Oh, Jeanette, watch out. The farmer sowed his seed and... Hey, everyone, vote for Madam Manager. <laughs> oh. oh, so this is how today's gonna go. Thorns everywhere. Miss Jean, join me on a trip to Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Join me for today's expedition in Discovery Mountain. Today's episode, called Change of Heart, is number four in our series called The Seeds of Change. Now, if you haven't heard the first three episodes in this series, I want you to pause right there. Go back to our website, discoverymountain.com, and listen to the first three episodes first. You see, in our last episode, we met Clarence McGee, and we heard another part of Jake's week of prayer message on the parable of the sower. Now, Madam Manager and Mr. Simon, they're still stranded in the wilderness, but will McGee rescue them? And what about the election? It's just a few days away. Will Madam Manager really end up as city manager in Discovery Mountain? Let's exercise our faith together again today and find out just how Mr. Simon, Madam Manager, and Gadget are doing. Let's listen. McGee! I just knew you'd find us. Twasn't hard to miss Blue Birdie sputtering and spitting as she made an emergency landing. Scared my horses near to death. But I knew you'd be landing on water, so twasn't hard to find you. Yes, it was a tricky landing. Now, McGee, I have a sticky fuel gauge. I'm going to need some fuel to get back. No problemo. I hate to interrupt your happy reunion, but George, just who is this person? I'm McGee, Missy. Missy? Really? You may call me Madam Manager. That's a little hoity-toity now, ain't it? (laughs) McGee, be careful now. Hoity-toity? Well, I never. Too late. Well, Missy, seeing that you're camping on my land, I might have to charge you rent. It's not like I had a choice. Besides, we were just leaving. In which direction? Uh, that way. That's my land. Well, then that way. Jeanette, it's all his land. But... Yes, McGee is the landowner we both submitted our bids to buy Discovery Mountain all those years ago. But him? Yep. They don't call me a tycoon for nothing. I sold the land to George for... He wanted to build a summer camp. Darn good decision, if I do say so myself. But they said it was a wealthy landowner that turned down my bid, not some, well, you. Jeanette, he owns the entire valley. McGee made his money in Texas oil years ago. Yep, moved up here and I 50 years ago to get away from all the hubbub. Been working the land ever since. (laughs) Well, you haven't done much with it. Uh, you'd be surprised. Oh, Missy, you don't know what you're complaining about. Jeanette, today was supposed to be my annual fishing trip with McGee. Fishing? <laughs> that explains the smell. Yeehaw! She's every bit the hoity toity boss lady you described, George. Now, wait a minute. Enough with the hoity toity. Uh, Jeanette, McGee, listen for, <clears throat> for a minute, both of you. I'll sue for slander. Now, Jeanette, we're out of fuel, and McGee can help us. Let's get the fuel, do a little fishing, and fly back tomorrow. 
Tomorrow? I'm not staying one more night in these woods. The election is tomorrow, and my people need me. I don't need to be here putting slimy worms on hooks and catching foul-smelling fish. I want to go back. Now! Missy, with an attitude like that, I have less of mind to acquiesce to your request. Excuse me? Means no. Fine. I'll wait here. Bring the fuel, but I want to leave first thing tomorrow. Jeanette, there are animals in these woods. Bears, squirrels, snakes. Enough! Leave the canine with me. Gadget? Well, that would help, but what if there's a rainstorm? Can you build a fire? Well, not exactly. And all we have left for food is trail mix. Ugh. Fine. I'll come with you. Pack up! And we'll hike out that there trail. Hike? These shoes are for boardrooms, not mountains. How'd you think we're getting out of here? Me carrying you? Well... Well, Jeanette, come on, let's eat and get going. What's for breakfast? Trail mix. I think I'm gonna be sick. I'll skip breakfast. I'll catch you a fish for lunch, Missy. Uh, George, throw me a bag of trail mix. All right, everyone in the hall, into the gym, please. Week of prayer is about to start. Judah, wait just a minute before you go in. Oh, uh, okay, Miss Simon. I'm not in trouble, am I? No, you're not in trouble. It's about the essay contest our history class entered. Oh, did they announce the winner? Yes. It's you, Judah. Wait, what? I won the essay contest? But that means... Yes, congratulations. Oh, I'm going to see your mom today. Can I tell her the news? Oh, yeah, of course. She's going to be so excited. I know. No, like, you have no idea. My mom's super extra about stuff like this. Come on, inside. He's about to begin. Sorry, Mrs. Lee. Sorry, Amanda. (laughs) Yes, now behave, Miss Simon. (laughs) Welcome back to the week of prayer, guys. How many of you get weeds or thorns in your garden? Quiet! The election is tomorrow. Um, will you help me? Really, during a week of prayer, you're going on about the election again? It's a major significance to our community. You guys, be quiet. Wait, what's of major significance to our community? Ugh, Kayla, change seats with me if you're going to listen to them. I'm going to listen to Jake. Fine, scoot over. Fine. In the parable of the sower, the farmer scattered more seeds, and some landed in the soil. If Madam Manager wins, she'll be the best city manager ever in Discovery Mountain. She'd be the first. The first woman city manager. No, like the first ever. We don't need a city manager. We have Mr. Simon. Now the seeds landed in the soil and started to grow. Mr. Simon deserves to retire. I mean, look, whether you like Madam Manager or not, you have to admit that she's good at business. That's true. Can't argue that. And... Shh, you guys are really annoying. The seeds started to grow, and then the thorns grew up and crowded the sun out, and all the water, too. Caleb, could Madam Manager help get my dad out of jail early? The thorns in our lives can be the bad things that we worry about, and the good things that take up our time. I think so, Wyatt. Hmm, that would mean that I could do the really big thing that God's impressing me to do sooner. All right, Caleb, I'm listening. Shh. A thorn is anything that takes our attention and time away from God and his word, you know? Kayla, don't you want to see women rise in Discovery Mountain politics? Well, of course. Who doesn't? May we count on your support? Well... The farmer sowed his seed and... Hey, everyone! Vote for Madam Manager! (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Oh, so this is how today's gonna go. Thorns everywhere. Michelle, are you out here? Oh, hey, Natasha. I'm out here in the garden. Mrs. Enderby just left the cafe. She told me to tell you she put the money for her raspberry cookies by the till. Oh, good. Yeah, she took forever finishing her tea, and I just had to get out here to the garden. Well, it looks really nice, Michelle. A few sprouts already. Yes, I've been giving it some water. But look at all those weeds coming up. Judah and I had pulled all of them before we planted the seeds. Yeah, unfortunately, the weeds keep coming, even after you've pulled them all. Some of them have thorns on them, too. Ouch! Do you still have the trowel and gloves you bought at Trekkers? 
Yes, they're saving my hands. Oh, good. Hey, we, uh, we missed you at Bible study last night. Yeah, and about that, I'm sorry. I was so excited in the morning, and then, well, when I saw you last night, I don't know. Your excitement withered? Yes, and it wasn't right. I thought about it a lot today. Natasha, I want to get to know God more. Well, that's wonderful. I even read the first chapters in the book of John this morning. Well, that's one of my favorite books of the Bible. I'm learning so much. I want to learn more, and I guess that means you're sort of my teacher, too. <laughs> well, that reminds me. I had my history class write an essay contest. Oh, yes. Judah told me. He said the prize was a trip to a camp. Is that Discovery Mountain Camp? Well, not to Discovery Mountain Camp, but to Camp Aree this summer in Oshkosh. In Wisconsin? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a long ways away. Our Pathfinder group goes every five years. They raise the funds and do a lot of work. I've seen Judah's uniform, but I don't really know that much about Pathfinders. Oh, hey, would you pass me my trowel? I think it's just behind you. Sure, here you go. Well, Pathfinders is similar to Scouts, but also we do activities to learn about the Bible and God's Word. Okay, that's sort of what I thought. So who won the trip to the Campari? Well, that's the good news. Judah won. Wait, did you just say that Judah won? Yes! My son Judah won a trip to Camp Marie? Yes, he's a very good writer. His essay was excellent. He's a good writer and he won. <laughs> wow. Yes! I have to call my mother and tell her. And I'll call his dad too. They'll be so excited. I have to let everyone know. Bye, Natasha. Thank you. Michelle. Michelle. Huh, that was odd. She just dropped everything. I'll just put the trowel back over here. There we go. Ugh, I just sprayed water all over myself. Michelle, she left the hose running. <sighs> there, that's shut off. John, his teacher, is here right now. Natasha, would you talk to Judah's dad and tell him the good news? Uh, I suppose I could. Oh, oh, what's that? You don't need to talk to her? Oh, all right. I have to call my sister anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness, Judah was right. Michelle is extra about all this kind of stuff. Could this good news be another thorn? You know, something that crowds out Miss Michelle's growing faith? Well, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be back after this to check and see how Madam Manager's hike is going. Hey, it's Sean Boonstra, Speaker Director of The Voice of Prophecy, the ministry that brings you this program. Has Discovery Mountain been an encouragement to the children in your life? Weekly Discovery Mountain episodes are made possible through the generosity of our supporters. Would you like to join us as a supporter? Find out how you can receive a Discovery Mountain t-shirt as a thank you gift. Call us at 1-877-566-7365 today. That's 877-566-7365. Well, that was a quick break. Now, come on, let's head out into the wilderness just past Discovery Mountain and let's find out how Madam Manager's hike is going. McGee! What you need, Missy? Oh dear, if he calls me Missy one more time, I will... Jeanette, did you have a question for McGee? Yes, I suppose I did. Are we walking in circles? My feet hurt. We're not going in circles. We're nearly there, Missy. Not with the Missy again. Just past that there grove of aspen trees and up yonder past... Oh, I can't make it one more step. What was that? Jeanette, watch out. It's, it's a bear. And she has her cub with her. She's being protective. I can outrun her. Don't you run, Jeanette. Shh, boy, get behind me. Jeanette, she's watching you. Play dead. Do what? Lay on the ground and play dead. Oh, but I don't do dirt. Lay down and be perfectly still. Oh, I'm too scared. She's coming right towards me. Hey, bear, over here. Leave her alone. Get out of here. Ah, she's rearing on her legs. We won't hurt your gut, Mama Bear. Go home. Out of here. I'm afraid to look. McGee, quick thinking. She done run off, Missy. Did you shoot her? No, I shot her with a rubber bullet. It didn't hurt her, just scared her good. Will she come back? No, not for a while anyway. Uh, thank you, McGee. 
That was some quick thinking. Thank you. Thank you both. George, are you all right? Oh, my sprained wrist hurts a little after all that yelling and waving my arms around, but I'm just fine. Oh, even the canine is fine. <sighs> Thank you, God, for your timing, McGee. You scared her off just in time. I would have been quicker, except these old fingers ain't as nimble as they used to be. Well, you saved us just in time. Thank you, God, for protecting us. <laughs> What's that sound? Is the bear back? No, Jeanette. Those are horses. We must be almost at the fishing huts. You fish with horses? No, but McGee keeps horses there for exploring. I see. McGee? Yes, Missy? I'll sleep in the tent tonight. I'm not interested in setting foot in one of your smelly fishing huts. <laughs> I see. Are you sure, Missy? Jeanette, you really should have an open mind on this one. Fishing nets, fishing poles, stinky fishy stuff. I can imagine it all. Well, all righty, suit yourself. Just past the grove of aspens and we're here. McGee, you've added another hut. I, I'm speechless. Oh, that's one for the record books. Jeanette Jones is speechless. You can pitch your tent just behind the second hut if you still want to, Missy. Those are huts? Run inside, Gadget, but don't scratch the tile in McGee's hut. Tile? Floors? Just on the first floor, the top level has carpet. Oh, except for the bathrooms. They've got marble floors. Mm, mar marble floors in the bathrooms. Plural? Yes, indeedy. Eh, fishing is a top priority to McGee. I see that. I'd kill for a hot bath. Oh, just swallow your pride and stay in hut too. <laughs> well, if you insist. McGee, why don't you show Jeanette around the rest of your property? All the way to on the other side of Emerald Lake? No, we can do that later, but just around this side of the lake for now. All right, Missy, let's go. Oh, please, I can't take another step. I just want a hot bath. Beauty here will take you. She's my only horse up here at the moment. You and George can take turns. Oh, well... Jeanette, you ride Beauty. I'll walk. Well, I, uh, thank you. My feet do have blisters. Come on around this side of her and I'll show you how to get up. Well, all right. Now, put your foot in the stirrup and then pull up on the horn. This? Yes, that part of the saddle. Now, good. Pull yourself up and throw your leg over her. Oh! There you did it! Well, this is better than walking. I'll lead beauty. McGee, you don't seem the least bit tired. What's your secret? My secret? Missy is trail mix. You've got to be kidding. No, nope. just good stuff. Eat her every morning. But the truth is, I am getting a little tired. Hey, Jeanette, look at the view across Emerald Lake. It's beautiful. The water's just the prettiest color. Emerald green, almost? Yep, that's how I named her. This valley is breathtaking. The lake, the mountains, the trees. It's exquisite. Almost as pretty as Discovery Mountain. I declare, George, it's prettier. Hey, now. I love this here land, but I'm getting too old to keep up with all the developments. Developments? Well, we'll leave that for tomorrow, right, McGee? Oh, right. Just captivating. Well, should we head back to the huts? <laughs> huts? <laughs> They're fishing huts McGee style. Yee-haw! Well, ye and ha. Come on, Beauty. Take me to the hut to soak off this dirt. Thanks, McGee. You're doing a great job. You think your plan will work, George? Well, so far, so good. So far, so good. Kayla! Oh, hi, Mrs. Lee. Good. I caught you before you left school. Would you be able to babysit Brody and Natalia for me tomorrow after school? Oh, sure. I'd love to. Oh, good. Thank you. I want to vote, and it's so much easier to do that without the kids with me. 
Oh, wait. Tomorrow is election day, right? Oh, I'm sorry I forgot. I can't babysit. I'm helping Caleb campaign for Madam Manager. Really? Oh, all right. I, I'll, I'll find someone else, I suppose. Sorry, Mrs. Lee. Any other day I can do it. You and Caleb, and now Wyatt, are all campaigning for Madam Manager. Why? I mean, you can't even vote yet. Oh, good question. Well, um, honestly, I'm doing it to help Caleb. Yes, Madam Manager promised to mentor him so he can get elected when he turns 18, didn't she? You have to admit, Caleb's a natural. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'll let you go to class, Kayla. Bye, Mrs. Lee. Bye. Now, I still need a babysitter. Let me see. Oh, Judah! Yeah, Mrs. Lee? How'd you like to babysit for me tomorrow after school? Sure, I'd love to. Now, it is election day. You don't have any other plans, right? No, I'm honestly sick of hearing about Madam Manager in that election. Well, good, thanks. Oh, and congratulations on winning your essay contest. Thanks. I can't believe that I get to go to Pathfinder Campery. Your mom must be so proud. <laughs> I'm going home to find out. Bye, Judah. Oh, 3.30 p.m. sharp tomorrow for babysitting. I'll be there. Bye. Ah, perfect spring day. I just love Discovery Mountain. Walking home from school in the fresh air and... Oh, no. Oh, please, please, please don't be what I think it... Oh, oh Banner. Oh, Mom. You are so extra. Congratulations, Judah. Did you see the banner? <laughs> Mom, it's kind of impossible to miss and really embarrassing. But I'm so proud of you. You won the essay contest. That's worth celebrating. Yeah, but a banner? <laughs> That's just the beginning. Come in the kitchen. Oh, I'm scared. Ta-da! Your favorite cupcakes for our favorite contest winner. Oh, wow. They spell out... Uh, Judah, you're going to Camp Marie. <laughs> That's a lot of cupcakes, Mom. Congratulations. I am so proud of you. Thank you. But, uh, weren't you going to work in the garden today? You were going to pull out the weeds. Garden? <laughs> oh, right. Well, that can wait for a few days. My son is a contest winner. But the weeds are going to choke out the new plants. Eat a cupcake, Judah. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Hmm, that's really good. Uh, Jake, you were right. Even the good things can be thorns. Oh, a nice hot bath. And now, let's see if this hut has any food. Oh, would you look at that? A full kitchen! Oh, canine, are you sharing this fishing hut with me? Well, there's plenty of room for the two of us. You're hungry too? Let's see. A fruit platter? That's for me. A biscuit shaped like a bone? That's for you. Ah, now to put my feet up and enjoy the luxury of this nice patio furniture. Mmm, what a lovely sunset. Hey, McGee, that fish is almost as big as you are. Nearly, I declare. It's a far sight bigger than your catch there, George. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, who knew that old tycoon had such good taste in fishing huts? <laughs> yes, I see them. George is helping McGee pack up the fishing gear. He's headed this way. Canine, why is George Simon the way he is? Well, earlier he let me ride the horse. His feet must have been sore, too, but he let me ride. <laughs> yes, and before that you saw how he protected me from the mama bear. It's not as if we're old friends. We're old enemies. Why was he so kind? It has to do with his god, doesn't it? Ever since I arrived in Discovery Mountain, I've noticed something different. I thought everyone would hate me. I couldn't wait to enact my 20-step plan to exact my revenge for being fired by Billsby. But... Yes, no one really hated me. Distrusted, sure. Avoided, yes. But not hated. Not even George. And that metal bar in the plane. I could have been hurt. Or even killed. Could it be true? Is there a god watching out for me? K-9, you seem to understand what I'm saying. What is it they call you 
Gizmo, Gibbs, Gypsy, Goofy? Gadget. Well, gadget. I'm going to do something I've never done before, but I'm not sure how. I think that I need to pray. Hello, Jeanette. George, we're over here on the patio. Come on over. Oh, hey there, Gadget. You two look like you've become friends. Yes, I think so. Tomorrow, we'll fuel up and be on our way back to Discovery Mountain. Excellent. We'll be back just in time to hear the election results. The election? I nearly forgot. All my plans. George, we have to stop them. Stop them from what? Voting for me. Well, it seems as if the seeds of God's word have landed in some good soil in Madam Manager's heart. What do you think? She said she needed to pray. Could that mean that she's had a real change of heart? Now, will she and Mr. Simon be able to stop everyone from voting for her in the election in Discovery Mountain? Or is it too late? It seems as if the seeds of God's word aren't falling on any good soil in Discovery Mountain. Miss Michelle has almost forgotten about everything but Judah's contest win. Wyatt seems to have forgotten about the big thing that God asked him to do, and he's focused on the election. Kayla, too. We've heard Jake talking about the parable of the sower in his week of prayer, but I'd like to hear that parable. How about you? Well, stay with us for our next episode in this series called The Seeds of Change, where we will get to hear the parable and we'll find out what's next for Madam Manager. Join us then. Hi, Director Doug here. Judah won a contest and he won a trip to Camp Rhee. Have you ever heard of Pathfinders and Camp Rhee or like Miss Michelle are these new things for you? Pathfinders is a club that has been around for a long time. It's a lot like Scouts. I was a Pathfinder as a kid and I really enjoyed the camping, sports day, bicycle races, canoe races. It was wonderful. We also learned a lot about God and how much He loves us. If you'd like to learn more about Pathfinders, visit their website pathfindersonline.org. Oh, and Camperee is one of the best parts about being a Pathfinder. Campery happens every five years in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. In a future Discovery Mountain season, we'll visit Oshkosh. In the meantime, you can learn all about Campery at campery.org. That's C-A-M-P-O-R-E-E dot org. I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to Discovery Mountain. To listen to other episodes and to send us a message, visit us at discoverymountain.com or write to us at Discovery Mountain, P.O. Box 999, Loveland, Colorado, 80539. And in Canada, write to Box 2127, Oshawa, Ontario, L1H7V4. This has been a production of The Voice of Prophecy. Join us again next time here at Discovery Mountain. Change of Heart was written by Natalie Barton and Jean Boonstra and post-produced in Ontario, Canada by Douglas Bruce and Danny Columbia.